trying to shout for Jesus can you just shout louder to the King of Kings to the Lord of Lords to the doer of great things in him there is no variableness neither shadow of turning would you wave your hands to him once has the Lord spoken twice have I heard it that all power belonged unto God would you wave your hands to him? Give him all the glory tonight. Let she and I. Can I have you to speak in the Holy Ghost? Wherever you are, would you thunder in other tongues? Ya pakatelea, ashemeni kutata, eliata sobusha, epuraka loti, eshenekatea, ala kotekete, eshepedu kala, atosekea, elemerekatea, ashataka, eliadaka, eshemeni kutea, eloko shere, epakata, ashadeke, ashataka, alemerekea, eshenek. Atata, Atata, Elevenekadea, Ashanekaya, Asabeleke, Ereketeke, Alevatataya, Ashateke, Asabelekea, Akatata, Rabaleke, Asheteke, Abarakaya, Arabaletea, Asherea, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh God. We ask, let there be none of any man, but all of you. Father, for in the volumes of that which has been written about us, flip through our destinies, page after page. Lord, write the author, Manukasa, Leberu Shandakasaya, Mokoshi Anaka. You wrote, and the Babylonian kingdom was over. Abali Kasaya, you wrote yet again, and the woman caught in the act of adultery was set free, Kataya. And you describe yourself as the author and the finisher. You have never stopped writing right upon the tables of our heart and our spirit in terrible words. Lord, right deliverance, right restoration, right healing, Lord, right a major transition in our lives that not one man, one woman here will remain the same again. Let a believer turn die aloud, amen. I wish your amen will confuse the gates of hell. Let your amen rise louder. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. Eleboroshi anakai. I don't know what I'm the only one seeing this, but please lift up your two hands. For the Spirit of God says to me, Angels of Restoration are here. Can you spend the next two minutes and speak in other tongues? Angels of Restoration. I don't care what is missing. Upon this mountain. A hundred and seven angels. Of restoration, La Patakaya, and Lakadea, and Messiah. Whatever is missing, whatever is missing, whatever is missing, whatever is missing, Lakatata, Ashana Bade, and Rekatake, and Lemerekata, Ashataya, Arabale, and Kotana, Shatade, Rapataka, Alataya, and Shemekina, and Lepedeke. He's restoring, he's restoring, he's restoring the years the locust has eaten. He's restoring Katana, Abaja, Abale, Araka, Adokete, Ashana. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, Katana, he's restoring Lekata. Let me take it. 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 Let me take
are lifted before the Lord. I'm a second. And as your amen will turn now, whatever is missing, whatever is missing, for the Lord says, I will restore the years the locust has eaten. Maraca, why locust was busy devouring Adaka, a man in the scripture was busy eating the devourer. As your amen will turn now, whatever that devoured, whatever is missing in your life, in seven days, in seven days, in seven days, in seven days, take it back, 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 let your amen turn the louder. I announce you've been restored. 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 If the Lord gave this word for some of you, it will not even be up to seven days. Yeah, it will be a major restoration. It is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you celebrate the Lord by taking your seat in the presence of God. It is absolutely a humbling privilege to be here today. And I do not take it for granted. Um, there are places where you go to and you know there's so much grace there. And all you need to do is, even as a preacher, is for you to come and still collect. Grace can be multiplied. So it doesn't even matter how much of grace that God has showed you. There are places where you go to, you glean of the grace. People of God, nobody walks in here and you don't see grace. Did you hear what I just said right now? There are two things that this place will do to you. It's either it humbles you or it gives you hunger. Two things they will do. It come and look left, look right. You just say the Lord, he's God. Because there's no way to describe such an amazing, and I mean not, I mean, I mean, um, God forbid that we'll stand on the altar of grace and then all we're talking about is just to say for saying sake, I feel extremely awed. People of God, help me celebrate the great work that God has done in this house. And I want to say that um, one of the men that I've come to meet and I love so much is who I will refer to as my covenant brother. And, um, you know, there are people, um, there, are, there are pastors, but there are people who've got the heart. I don't know how best to describe it, but you know that there are people who've got the heart. Yeah. Uh, the, the qualification is not coming in my but you know that you know this person has a heart of of heaven that's the word you know this one has a heart of heaven and then he says what he means and he means what he says and people of God you are blessed to have a man like my brother pastor you listen try it you may not get it anywhere better please help me celebrate pastor Yemi from the depth of your heart God bless you, great man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you for making big things look very simple. Thank you for radiating an aura that makes Jesus accessible. Thank you for all you represent in the body of Christ. I love you from the depth of my heart. People of God, let's celebrate the sad man once again. And help me celebrate the first lady. Every memory I have of the first lady is warm and smiley and such a huge personality that lightens up every time i've seen her she has one thing to ask me how is this how is that so there's always care in her voice thank you so much pastor bimbo i love you from the depth of my heart thank you so much thank you so much isn't it just so amazing that while I was coming in, I, I saw my brother spitting fire. And then it was just corrosive from one corrosive moment to another corrosive. Help me celebrate Pastor Bology. Help me celebrate Pastor Bology. 
thank you so much for who you are and what you represent in the kingdom. Hallelujah. I want you to get ready tonight. And please help me look at your neighbor for one second. Please just look, don't say nothing to your neighbor. Just look at your neighbor by your right and by your left. If you're done, please help me ask them this time around. Can we do this together? Please, can you say it again to your neighbor? Say, can we do this together? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. neighbor. Let me warn you. If I act any way that you feel is not right, mind your business. If you understand what I said, can you say it louder? Amen. I will not bother laying any foundation because I believe my brother has laid all the necessary foundation that needs to be laid. But I want to let you know that Kibo Sudashaya, that in the Kusate, in the next few minutes that we have, we are going to visit the legislative quarters of the universe. We are going to be writing new laws. We are going to be abolishing old ones. We are going to be institutionalizing the decrees of the Almighty. Because tonight is your night. I do know for many days and many months, many years you've been praying for a day like this. You've been asking God, when will that day be? According to the Messiah, but upon Mount Zion, 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 let the lover of the Lord turn the fire. Open your scriptures to the book of Acts. The book of Acts chapter 16. The book of Acts chapter 16. And we will read Acts chapter 16. And we will begin to read from verse 16, if you don't mind. Acts chapter 16, and we begin to read from verse 16. Hallelujah. And I will stop where I will stop. The Bible says, and it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain by suit saying, uh, please recall that these are great men of God. I recall that we are talking about Apostle Paul and Silas. And then he says that as we went to prayer, we were on a destiny journey. And we were still full of so much power. But yet there was this useless demon that followed us. He says, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried saying, These men are the servants of Most High God, which you unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when he saw, and when her masters rather, saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrate, as saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe. Being Romans and the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent up their clothes and commanded to beat them and when they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely who having received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were open. 
and everyone's bands were loosed and the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open he drew out his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prisoners had been fled but Paul cried with a loud voice saying do thyself no harm for we are all here then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said sirs what must I do to be saved father we ask oh God that in the next few minutes oh God that you do what only you can do let a lover of the Lord say a louder amen and people of God there is no need like I said earlier on to lay any foundation whatsoever and please just run with me as we jump into the heart of the matter tonight the Bible said in one of those destiny journeys of Paul and Silas the Bible said that one day as they were on to go to the temple during the hour of prayer the Bible said a certain damsel with the spirit of divine nation followed Paul and Silas the Bible says for many days she kept following Paul and Silas for many days she kept speaking what they moved these are the men of God these are the servants of God powerful men of God tongue talking and spirit filled and she kept singing all the very nice things that any man of God would love to hear and they kept saying or she kept saying all the very colorful introductions that suited a man of God but then again when Paul could not take it anymore Paul said enough is enough and someone might just ask a question let me begin from the preliminary stage and say excuse me Pastor Jerry but isn't she saying what is right why would Apostle Paul shut her down you know the truth is that uh, today she's saying what is right uh, we are not sure what she will say tomorrow and that is why uh, we don't get our validation from the environment uh, even if they are saying the correct thing uh, we don't get who we are from what they are saying uh, because if I get my self-esteem uh, from your applause uh, I will still get my depression uh, from your frown uh, that is why uh, whether you are frowning uh, or you are clapping I've set my face as a flint whether you are happy with me or you're sad with me I don't derive my self-worth and Apostle Paul says the environment does not tell me who I am I already know myself you will not be screaming and be telling people who I am because Katoshe environment does not introduce me the life of Christ that I carry in my inner man is what introduces is me if you understand I say louder amen and that is how they started I was supposed to say shut up environment shut up can I have a believer I don't know what your environment said some of you your environment are saying the negative ones and some of you they're saying the right one can you lift up your voice from your shout say shut up your neighbor doesn't understand why you are screaming shut up only you know why you're sorry shut up but can you scream it louder say shut up can you scream it louder again say shut up you don't know you are changing the atmosphere about the guy somebody help me thunder again say shut up thunder it again say shut up say it again say shut up you might be addressing a doctor's report right now thunder say shut up you might just be addressing the lie that the devil spoke about your family let me hear you thunder shut up and people of God and that is an aside but here is the main issue Picando and notice carefully that as this young woman how the other Bible describes her as having the spirit of divination and by the way the word divination as used in the scripture comes from a Greek word known as Pythona it comes from a Greek word known as Pythona rendered in English as Python. 
And so, sir, uh, what was following uh, Paul and Silas uh, for many days uh, was nothing uh, but a python. Uh, Manikada, for many days, python uh, followed them. Uh, for many days, uh, even though python uh, was saying the wrong thing, uh, Apostle was saying the right thing. Uh, Paul was quick enough to say, uh, I have an understanding. What you are saying is not who you are. Now hear this, people of God, anyone who is familiar with wildlife, anyone who is familiar as Shondaka, Joe Ward and all of that, and ever you have ever seen them run a documentary on the Python, you will understand there is something that catches my attention tonight. And please forgive me because we're going to be praying in one minute. As Shondaka Zaya, you already are aware of how the Python functions. For one second, you're going to permit me to be a python tonight. Shandaka, but I'm a Jesus python. If you don't mind, sir, let me borrow you for one second. Let me borrow you. People of God, wherever you see a python, when Oboshia, when it wants to attack his prey, the first thing that it does, Aboshianaka, away from the venom to make the prey weak. Aboshiana. One of the things that a python or python does is that it begins to coil around the body of the victim or the prayer, and all it does is to constrict the breath of the victim. So, in other English, he the victim can exhale, but the victim cannot inhale. And so what the python uh, tries to attack uh, in the victim, uh, the first thing is not to eat the eye. The first thing is not to eat the leg. Uh, the first thing is not a na na na. Ah, shaka. Is there some way uh, I can take the life out of you? I'm uh, because python uh, will never swallow you if you are still alive. Can I say it one more time? The python will never swallow you if you are still alive. And so what the python does with its receptors after constricting, it tries to give a little ear to be sure whether there is still heartbeat. And if the python thinks there is still heartbeat, the python will never swallow you. It will still keep constricting. The python comes to your prayer life and constrict it because he knows I can swallow you if I can take the life the python comes to your study life and constricts it Shabadaka you are struggling you imagine Pastor Jerry I don't even know why I'm wordless I know why you are wordless because it is seeking to swallow Abadekete Emeshendeke Abazada I came to tell someone here tonight uh, one of the greatest things uh, that will happen tonight uh, is when you scream back at the devil and say I am alive I need you to scream it because uh, like the dry bones uh, in Ezekiel 37 somebody turn very loud and say I am alive can you scream it again like a believer? Thunder, I am alive. Say it again, I am alive. Shout it again, I am alive. Shout it again, I am alive. Take your seat for one second. And there are men and women here tonight. Shandoro Kosi and Abaha. Aleba. All the attack. The enemy. Azana has been waging against you. Lebarakata. Azandekete. Is to Lakuta. Make your prayer fire. Lose life. Your consecration. Lose life. Amano Kosi. Your atmosphere. Lose life. Amado Kosi. And you're saying, I don't know what is happening. I'm afraid if you don't grab your life back, Ashandaka, the python can swallow him and Okushata, America, Amazaraya. Somebody help me thunder with a loud voice. I am alive. 
Can you rise on your feet for one second and lift up your right hand? Say right now. Say right now. Right now. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. That is taking life out of my spirit. Say right now. Right now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Let your amen turn the louder. Can you lay your two hands on your belly? Lay your two hands on your belly. Wherever you are, lay your two hands on your belly. And the class say, I am a living spirit. Say, I am a living spirit. I am a living spirit. Say, right now, whatsoever the devil wants to kill in my life, right now, resurrect, 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 resurrect. resurrect. Open your mouth begin to declare it shataka and then could a shatata lack at on it a basote rapatai as a naked amalaka a shada and then a code rapatai a level a shata a quarterly rapidica a satata la baraka a secretary a shade a balai a catali a measure let's say believer don't die aloud amen take your seat in the presence of God and I came to announce over the life of anyone listen in the remaining six months of the year and it is recharged and I announce over your life no aspect of your life no aspect of your life will lose the God kind of life Hasaneka, you know the first Adam was a living being, Habasaka, but the second Adam is a life given spirit, and that is why he has come that I may have life and have it in abundance because he knows there are things I need to give life. It's not just me that needs life, your career needs life, your business needs life. Hear me as I hear the Lord, whatever the devil tried to kill in the first half of the year, as your amen will. Thunder, I decree may the resurrect right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for the one second, and this is exactly what happened. Shanda Kose, because if it is the issue of life, and that's how they told Peter, and they say, Ah, Shonde, are you not aware that Peter is sick? And by the time you could say, Jack, and Dorcas died, Lebaranakasa, and he died, and that was the end. Shabaria, but when Peter came, Rondekasa, or oh, as soon as Tabitha died, you know what the brethren did? They carried Dorcas and went to the upper room, Amazundekasa. Permit me to say tonight, there is a refreshing coming tonight. But God is saying, I want to raise men of the upper room, women of the upper room, that July I'm in the upper room, August I'm in the upper room, September I'm in the upper room, October I'm in the upper room, November I'm in the upper room, December I'm in the upper room. Just in case you're wondering, it was in the upper room that they had the encounter counter every one time Jesus wanted to have communion he will ask them go and find the upper room and people of God brethren carried the corpse of Tabitha and kept her in the upper room there are matters that can only addressed in the upper room for as long as you seek the low ground for as long as you are comfortable you know pastor I, I, I've been struggling with praying for 10 minutes I, I, I try to fix my life I've been, I've been struggling to make sure that I'm this way I came to remind you Shabarosia, uh, that there is a clarion call in the spirit uh, and heaven is saying uh, Amosikata, man of the upper room uh, Amosikata, uh, man of the upper room uh, they are men that are wanted uh, when you find a man in the upper room uh, who has Shada. He doesn't introduce himself. Where he's coming from introduces him. Amazokata. When a man is a man of the upper room. Azakata. He understands that the upper room is not a place. But the upper room is in him. 
Now when you find a man in the upper room. Because it is an upper room. He stands at the place of advantage. And as soon as. The apostle arrived there. And then. Tabitha was lying down. Lifeless. Somebody help me thunder again. Say I am alive. I need you to scream it again. Say I am alive. Shout it again and say I am alive. And he saw that Tabitha was lifeless. Amoshinda. The man of God said Aborosia because at that point the widows had all shown up everybody was coming with their evidence this is what Tabitha did this is what doctors did this is what doctors did and the man of God says when it is time for transition emotions are not needed and Apostle pushed every one of them get out of this room I am not here for emotions you see Kata maybe from January to June all you try to do was to understand your destiny journey with your emotions but the Lord is saying I am opening a new chapter in your life and the chapter is not a chapter of emotions it's a chapter of conviction and faith and this was how he sent all of them out of the house Marabalakasa, and then he knelt down and prayed for Tabitha and Tabitha came back to life and I came here to remind someone Manoko Shanda Rabalekasa because my journey here today is a simple journey Abalaka as long as heaven and earth remains something inside of you must return back to life you didn't hear me your true state who you are as your amen will thunder i announce it will return back to life it will return back to life he's returning back to life let your amen thunder louder and people of God, in Revelation chapter 22, Amosir, John the Revelator, begins to, begins to tell us about how he saw the water that was coming from the throne of God and from the Lamb. And he said, as I saw the water come from the throne of the Lamb and from the Lamb, and as it flushed through the street, I saw by the side tree of life. I love that John the Revelator did not just call it water. John the Revelator called it water of life and I recall that this was exactly what Jesus was going to speak to the Samaritan woman and say there's a water I will give to you and it was that springing unto eternal life could it be possible it was the same water that Ezekiel saw in Ezekiel chapter 47 when he says there is water I saw coming from the right side of the altar and flowing from underneath the temple and Ezekiel said when the man with the measuring line came to measure and then he measured the water came up to my ankle I measured do not forget water of life in other words anyone under the sound of my feet knows that your ankle down to your feet is nothing but movement it's nothing but movement Ezekiel said when the water of life came and hid my spirit the first thing it did was to orchestrate a movement for me call your name and say Jerry call your name and say Jerry say you must move tonight shout your name say Jerry you are moving tonight say it again say Jerry you are moving tonight if you understand the scream a better amen Lift up your right hand, say right now, by the word of the Lord, I decree and declare, I am living where I am, to a higher place. I am living where I am, to a higher place. Call your name, say Jerry, move by fire, move by grace, move by mercy. If you believe it, thunder loud, amen. Can I pray for you for one second? As your two hands are lifted, the things that stopped you five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, from January till June, as your amen will thunder, I announce that they are broken by fire. Let a believer thunder a louder amen. I say they are broken. 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 The water of life 
of intimacy with the Holy Spirit, of the Word of God, of the overflowing unction of the Holy Spirit, is hitting your destiny feet. Is hitting your destiny feet. Is hitting your destiny feet. Where others walk, you are taking leaps of grace. And I announce, leap right now. Leap right now. Leap right now. Let your amen turn louder. Take your seat for one second. And the water says I wasn't done. You know, the other day, I discovered something that really blessed me. And it really, really, really made me smile and laugh as I read the scriptures. And then I was reading at the psalm where David says, By my God, I've been able to leap over a wall. He said, By my God, I've been able to leap over a troop. And and I sat back and I was just smiling and I said Harakote, some men how to walk some men in the scriptures had to walk and Debosaka for seven days and all they were waiting for is for the wall to go down some men walked and the Lord said to them as you're walking all through the wall say nothing say nothing all you need to do is just to keep moving around the wall keep moving around the wall the first time don't say anything and David says he brought me to a place of a higher grace I didn't need to move around any wall I got to the wall the next thing I found was that he put a spring on my step what others were running around trying to figure out the solution he gave me strength and I leaped over the wall take your seat for one second you know the truth is that you know between July and December you know there are miracles that I love how God does it there are miracles I, 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 I am not in any way demeaning that the walls fell down flat I love the fact that the walls fell down flat but I love the ones that the wall will still be standing there the wall will still be posing like he's in charge the wall will still be talking and the wall says I'm going to keep you here you're going to remain here by the time I'm the world will realize what just took place I am on the other side and I'm looking at the wall and I'm telling the world you can stop a generation that is not in my bloodline but for people like you and I lift up your right hand said despite the obstacle I am leaping over I am leaping over I am leaping over I am leaping over can you throw your head back and turn that grace If that sounded like you tonight, because you've been praying, Lord, take away the wall, take away the wall. And God says to me, you can still move with the wall. You can still move with the wall. And you're saying, Lord, I just want a greater to come from somewhere and level the wall. And God is saying, whether the wall stands or whether the wall falls, one thing you can be sure of is that in seven days, in seven days after this meeting, you will not be at the same level I wish your amen will thunder louder let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise Take your seat for one second. Marabale kosha, habaleka. Have me look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say whether the wall is there or not. Say I decree and declare. I am leaping over. I am leaping over. I am leaping over. Don't expect the doctors to give you a clean bill of health yet. Mashandeka. They will still be saying that you have this one, you have that one, and the baby will enter they will still be saying ah, we are still seeing this one seeing that one and the Lord will still be making a way for you they will still be hating you and the Lord will still be lifting you they will still be talking against you and the Lord will still be making a way for you the wall will be there but I am leaping over I am leaping over let the believer turn that louder amen 
So Lord, I'm aware. There are seasons when you take away the war. There are seasons when you keep the war. But you know, Ezekiel prophesied and said the water did not stop at my ankle. It rose again. It rose again. When the man with the measuring line and he measured again. You know, that's the reason for recharge. There is a man from the spirit with a measuring line walking through the roads walking through the seat and is measuring he's not measuring to show you your incompletion but he's measuring to show you your next season so the man with the measuring line measures and saying no 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 you are not yet at where you ought to be you are not at the echo please lay your hands on your head don't die with a loud voice say i am bigger than where i am say it like you really mean it. say i am bigger than where i am decree over your life say in 21 days I break out on every side I break forth on every side it declares it right now I announce let everything align 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 let your amen turn the louder And Ezekiel said, you weren't done, Lord. And then you measured again. And the waters came up to my knees. And he says, I know, Lord, you let me make some movement. But then again, you also instructed me by your waters, whether it is my intimacy with the Spirit. Because several times, the Spirit has been described as water. Or whether it's your word. The washing of the water by the word. The waters rose to my knees and you know that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee will bow you brought me to a place of submission and God was still simply saying do not misconstrue your movement to submission every time I let you move I trust that you submit this is the principle of breaking into new seasons may your movement not be a journey away from me I let the waters there is a reason why significant areas I had to let the water stop at your ankle I had to let the water stop at your knees because I let you move and men were clapping from you I let you move and people were saying ah now you be cool. and people are saying oh you are the next thing happening would you learn that when a man moves his knees are needed would you learn that when a man moves Shabaraka, pastor I didn't know he was happening all of a sudden it stopped happening and the Lord said the water came to your ankle I measured and it came to your knees but you walked back again to the place of the ankle the waters needed to rise to the loins to the place of productivity this is the people of God you know the movement already is not the result that the water was going to rise up to to the place of productivity there was yet another level where the waters needed to rise this is a place I call effortless resort because between the first time the water rose to your ankle and the time you got to the place of the loins of the place of productivity I had to assess you with the water rising to your knees and that is why no matter what happens heaven is still looking for nilas now do not understand this to be a literal explanation but it is called Nasanda people who will still say Lord Manikoshea my knees are on the ground and that wasn't me Jesus that was you people who will still say I didn't make that happen you made it happen people who will still say I was not the one that brought myself here you brought, my, you brought me here because who cut people who will still say Lord, despite all despite devils, permit my use of water, I still know you are my anchor. The water needed to rise from the knees Rabalaka, to the waist, but before then it rises to the waist. It needed to get to the knees. And Ezekiel said when he measured, because everyone has to be measured. Everyone has to be measured. And I, and I remember and many years ago 
Shandi Balaka, just shortly before my mom died, she was ill. She was very dangerously ill at the time. And then I went to see my mom. It was a night where she prayed a lot for me. And she cried as she was praying. Of course, I wasn't, I wasn't as, as spiritually sensitive as I was. I had no idea that that was some, some leaving the earth. And, all that. And, and my mom said something as I was leaving. So she cried a lot. And I felt like it was because she was ill that she was crying. And then I, I was, wanted to walk out. She called me back. And she said to me... And she called me by the name, uh, my native name. And she said to me, that you know what? That the most dangerous thing that can happen to a man is a Christian who is not alive. I would have said it exactly the way she said it, but some of you won't understand it because she spoke in her native dialect. And she said, the dangerous thing that can happen to a believer is a Christian that is not alive. So immediately she said it. I just said, yes, it's true. Because she likes talking about God. I say, yes, it's true. And, and then I wanted to head to the door again. And she called me. I said, ah, I have a meeting in the office. I told you, she said, come, come, there's something. And she said to me, no matter what you do, because of where you are going to stay alive, And I looked at her. It began to make sense to me. And she said to me, let me quote her word for word. She said, everything that has happened to me happened that I learned to be alive in my sickly state. You didn't get that. She learned how to stay alive when she was already sick. May you not learn to stay alive when your body cannot carry again. Ah, ah, ah. It's all making sense to me. And I sat back. I said, oh, then it never did make sense. Then I just felt like all my mother was trying to tell me was to encourage me as a believer. But lift up your right hand. Turn down with a loud voice. Say from July to December. I declare with a loud voice and say, I am alive. Declare again from July to December. Say, I am alive. Declare again from July to December. Say, I am alive. If you believe it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Let your amen rise louder. Let your amen rise louder. Will you take your seat for one second? How about a kosher? Our time is, I don't know how this happens. But then again, let me say this. It's important for everyone under the sound of my voice to hear this tonight. And he said, Marakode, Silom brother Ezekiel. And Ezekiel said, the next thing I found out was the water became overflowing. Where I found myself swimming, Karoshia, where I lacked control of water. What is thinking a satoshi? A bele koroshi anaha. I lack control of what was happening around me. I found myself. There was a season where I thought I could walk through. I could manipulate. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe there are people here tonight. God is saying, I am leading you to a season where Kadoshi, you will become a spectator in your own miracle. Did you hear what I just said right now? As people are saying, what is going on? You will join them in asking, what is going on? People will be asking, how did it happen? You will ask them, how did it happen? I pray for you. Let there be an overflow right now. Let there be an overflow right now. Let there be an overflow right now. Let them believe it on the Lord. Amen. And hear me. As I, as I get back to the heart of the matter, and the spirit of divination, don't forget, don't forget that I move from there to the place where the python constricts to take life and all I laid as a foundation. He was my foundation laid when I said no matter what happens, don't die, don't die. No matter what happens, don't die. There are days depression was setting. I pray, please, don't let your prayer life die. There are days you'll be so confused. You don't know where to start from. You don't know where to end. I will look on my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. There are days when your heart will be overwhelmed. Please, I beg that you remember me. I remember what I said. That no matter what happens, your consecration must not die. Your prayer altar must not die. Your word life must not die. The atmosphere of the right relationships around you must not die. 
father. Don't forget, spirit of divination was following the man, the apostle. And love as the viper stuck to the hand of the apostle. Habarushia in another scripture when they got to the island of Melita and the viper stuck to the hand. Shabalikosa in their characteristic manner of wrapping round in order to take life. And the apostle said, you can try it on your villagers. You can try it on people. But listen, Kadoshi, on my life, you will not try it. Can you raise your voice and thunder say, I shake it off. Because we are going to be shaking off some, some if the Lord did not if the Lord did not put it in your life if it is not ordained by the Lord raise your voice don't I shake it off say it again like you really meant it don't say I shake it off with a loud voice right now whatsoever that is not of God around my life whatsoever the Lord did not plant in my life right now I shake it off 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 open your mouth and shake it off shake it off shake it off wrap it up Rekatekata, a labereka, a shatata, rapata, a shaka, shake it off, shake it off, stagnation, delay, denial, a bakata, diabetes, a cote, cancer, lakata, a menaka, a shatata, a rataka, a labereka, a shatai, a zikada, a baraba, a sototo, repeteke, lebaraka. A shatata, rabalaya, a zekoto, rebeleke, a zata, a bala, a shadia, a rekete, rabala, let him deliver, don't die aloud, amen. With a loud voice, can you scream, say, I shake it off? Can I hear you thunder, say, I shake it off? I just want you to focus on that thing that you know will not leave the service with you. Can you scream with a loud voice? Say, I shake it off. Just maybe you don't need it. Your brother, your mother, your father, your sister needs it. Raise your voice and thunder. I shake it off. Can you look at your children? Look at your family members. Look at anyone connected to you. Rapataka. You might literally see yourself shaking it off their lives right now. Can you scream? I shake it off. 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 Let it be my thunder loud. Amen. Hallelujah. And people of God, as I get ready to tidy up, Mabara Koshia, this was exactly Barando Koshida, Marabalaka, Masi, forgive me, Marabalika, but I think we need to. There are things, Kaloshia and Nebosuda. There is an account of the man with the legions that Jesus has spoken to the legions, and the legions didn't go until Jesus asked the man again, What are your names? Where are you from? That was a second. There are demons, there are, there are structures, there are decrees from the pit of hell. Mashon de Kazada, that you need to thunder with a loud voice and say this far and no further. I didn't come here to experience the same negativity again. I didn't come here to cry again. I didn't come here to weep again. As I decree in the name of Jesus, I want to hear you with your own mouth. As you decree and you're going to thunder, I shake it off. In the name of Jesus. 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 For the last time, in the name of Jesus. Let your hand and turn your louder. And people of God, you know the truth was that. 
Peter or Rabalakas or of Goshia or Paul and Silas could have thought that what they were dealing with was just one girl that was just following them up and down. When the spirit of divination, Aranda could say, Oh Jesus, help me. Abalaka, you know, divination is just to consult with spirits. Arabalaka, consult with evil spirit. That was what it was. Shabalaka. So the girl, Ashandaka, had a connection that was ongoing. There was a connection that was ongoing. And the man of God needed to interrupt the demonic connection going on. Abalakata. So that means every time she spoke a word, she was connected to somewhere. And what she was connected to was giving her manikosha. And the man of God says, You are not my problem. You are not, I'm not going to address you, young woman. You didn't do nothing to me. I'm going to address every demonic network. I'm going to address every connection that is making this happen. And the man of God addressed it. Abalekosha. And all of a sudden, negativity stopped. Now, people of God, let, let, let me say this. Many years ago, in our house, we used to have a small TV. I grew up in a very poor home. My mother managed, tried really hard to buy a red. It's not exactly red. But some of you might remember this JVC television that is very small, that is red. Not really red, maybe orange, between orange and red. And that was what we had in our house. And my mother will ask me and say, don't watch TV when I'm not around. My mother will say this one, say that one, say that one. And then my mother will always frown, never watch the TV when it is raining. For some useless reason, the devil put it in my head. He was raining. I'm taking you somewhere. And I turned on the television. I usually watch TV when it's raining, but I didn't know what happened to me that day. For no reason, for no just cause, thunder. Thunder saw no other day to fire the television. Only that day that as soon as thunder struck, let me tell you how, how terrible this thunder was. Now, it struck the television and left a mark. I don't know how many of you who understand what I'm saying. He struck the television and left a mark. Just in case my mother came back home. And my mother asked me what happened to the television. I could have lied and told my mother, I didn't know what happened to the TV. As you are seeing the TV, that's how I'm seeing it. But then again, it had already left a mark. Anyone who is around when thunder fires things in those days, you, under, you see that thunder mark that it leaves behind. Now, people of God, this is how our capacity functions in the spirit. Now, is it a little wonder that he describes James and John as the sons of thunder? Which means whenever thunder strikes, he begins to disconnect any network that is not in your favor. As your amen will thunder, wherever you are, I announce every satanic network is the slush right now. Satanic network encouraging negativity. I announce it is broken right now. It is broken right now. It is broken right now. Let your aim at on the loud. And people, hear this as I close. As I close. Hear me clearly. Mashandoriata. Heleka. They took Paul and Silas and dropped them in the prison. This is the second half of the year. Can I, I'm afraid to say this. There are times and there are seasons in your life when you may never find yourself in a kosha, in situations that you wished you would have found yourself in. But no matter what happens, no matter what happens, don't keep quiet when you get there. When you find yourself in a situation that is not pleasant, help me call your name and say, Jerry, say, don't keep quiet. Say, don't keep quiet. No, this is a case of two men who found themselves in the prison. One was in the prison and was sleeping. One found himself in the prison and was sleeping. Then the angel tapped him, Piro, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And then he woke up. Follow me, follow me, follow me. And then he followed. And as he followed, the angel was leading. The doors were opening. The window. And then that's how Peter walked out. Excuse me before you clap for him. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. 
He was sleeping. And then again, I looked at two other men who were in the prison and they were not sleeping. All they were doing, they were singing and they were clapping. Remember, when you find yourself in a situation that is not pleasant, the worst thing that you can do is to shut your mouth. Never shut your mouth. Keep talking. The atmosphere is hearing you. Now, let me tell you the difference between them. Shanda, do you know that those were opening for Peter? Those were opening for Peter. Those were opening for Peter until the major iron gate opened and then Peter went. Now, while they were joining, because the angel was ahead of Peter, don't forget, the angel, while they were joining, the angel at some point looked at Peter and said, Peter, I'm going to see you later. Let me go and attend to some other matters. I'm, you and I will meet sometime later. And then Peter gets to the house of Rhoda. This is a man that iron gates opened for. She, he gets to his destination and now began to knock. And now began to knock. Ah! Ah! Peter! Was there not a time that doors were opening for you? What is happening right now? You have gotten to a point. You are now the one. Iron gates open for you in this life. Then small house gates cannot open. Because you kept quiet. Maybe they go naked. They will think you are mad. They will think you don't have sense. Makalaya. But you're going to leave this meeting when you get to the gate of your house. You will wake up in the middle of the night. Hear me. People of God, as soon as, as soon as Paul and Silas. We are singing. Elebo Shendeya. Makata. Peter was led out. Like as if they were trying to steal him out. Steal him out. Let nobody find out. Oh. Let nobody find out as Peter was in. Not a man. Not two men. Who Hanusha. They were vocal about their prayer. The Bible said the prisoners had them. God says, aha. You want to announce me. Me, I will announce my visitation. I will not be quiet. I am visiting you with earthquake. Everybody in your environment will know that I, the Lord, visited. They will know that I am not quiet. They will not cast out. Can I pray for someone right now? Your visitation will be loud. 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 Let your amen talk the louder. And people of God, please rise on your feet wherever you are and just lift those two hands before the Lord. Shande Borokosia, Rembe Nekosekete, Lekote Kesheya, Habarando Kosia, Ekote Lebara, and Shanda Kaza, and Lebana Kaza. You might just begin to pray and say, Lord, let the waters rise. Let it rise, let it rise. Lekote Vashenea. There are too many things involved in the journey of the rising of the water. It's not just my movement, it is the breaking of my flesh. It is bringing me to a place of submission. Break my weaknesses away. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. I want to be submitted. Let the waters rise to my waist. I want to be lost in your atmosphere. I want to be lost in your grace. I want to be lost in your fullness. In the name of Jesus. And I decree over your life. Today let the waters of his power, of his grace, of his fullness rise over your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree let every infirmity that walked in here tonight, let it die from its roots. It shall be said of us that the second half of the year became the best half of the year. Anyone under the sound of my voice? Aru IP will never be written behind your name. Whatever that is missing in your life has been found. It has been found. It has been found. It has been found. Let your amen turn the louder. 
I decree that you are called the blessed of the Lord. I decree that your greater days are here. I decree you will never have a better yesterday. The hand of the Lord is upon you. In the name of Jesus. Let a believer talk to you louder. Amen.